Ladies and gentlemen, you know, the Philadelphia police has a horrible reputation. Back in the 60s and 70s, they used to make black men strip down to their underwear. And then someone from the police department would snap the picture and it would make the newspaper. This was under Frank Rizzo, probably the most racist mayor Philadelphia ever had back in those times. Well, back in the 80s, I believe this was the 80s and 90s, the Philadelphia police, it was a group of cops. I think it was up to about 10 cops were planting guns and drugs on primarily black and Hispanic men. This went on probably a little over a decade. Those cops were charged and jailed and they had to release 1,100 people that were placed in jail on bogus charges. See, this is how deep they go with planting evidence. This is just one police department. You can imagine if we looked at every police department that's doing this stuff around the country. But see, in the same token, these folks are telling you to trust the system, trust the police. What? Trust the system that you wrote black codes and slave code laws and still carrying them out? The same system that gave us Jim Crow? Trust that system? No, thank you. I will never trust your system. So this is a story, ladies and gentlemen, that came out on ABC News 6 out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Philadelphia police officer charged with making false report. This is so notorious for the Philadelphia police. This is January 31st, 2020. A Philadelphia police officer was charged Friday with multiple crimes stemming from an incident and arrest in April 2018. Keith White of Warminster was charged for assaulting an individual and presenting false statements about the arrest following an investigation by the Philadelphia Police Department Internal Affairs uh, Division and the District Attorney's Office. Investigators said the incident happened on April 13th, 2018 in the 200 block of East Loudoun Street. Officer White then assigned to the East Detective Division signed a written statement alleging that during the course of a pursuit and arrest for selling uh, narcotics, he had been struck in the mouth by an arrestee. Well, after telling all of these lies, he probably really did deserve to get struck in the mouth, but unfortunately, his statement was false resulting in injuries, including bleeding and damage to his teeth, investigators said. Based on White's statement, the defendant was arrested and charged, but White's statement was later uh, contradicted by video surveillance. And, you know, just like Chicago, the city has cameras all over the place. Okay, so... This dumb cop should have known the area he was in had surveillance. You would think all police officers would know this, but obviously this dummy didn't know that. The video shows that during the foot chase, White fell without being hit and revealed to have hit his face on the sidewalk. Footage also showed that the defendant was lying on the ground and did not physically resist arrest, investigators said. Based on the video, authorities withdrew the assault charges against the defendant on April 30th, 2018. White is charged with unsworn falsification to authorities, false reports to law enforcement authorities, 
intent to implicate another, tampering with public records or information, and official oppression. Wow. You know what they better do, y'all? They need to look at every single arrest this cop made over his career. You just caught him at this one thing, but you can best believe he's done far more than this one falsification. He's done far more. They, they need to look at every single ticket, every single police report he wrote up, every single person that was placed in jail. They need to look at the whole nine yards when it comes down to this cop. So White is a 13-year veteran. So how much of this did he do throughout his career? You know, so if they are just looking at this one thing and not everything else he did, then, you know, it's all for naught. They need to be looking at everything. Okay, so White is a 13-year veteran of the department and was most recently assigned to the 25th District. Acting Police Commissioner Christine Coulter uh, has suspended White for 30 days with the intent to dismiss at the end of the 30 days. 13 years, it's no telling how much damage he's done. But see, ladies and gentlemen, when we say that a lot of these arrests that these cops are doing are bogus, they really are. They put a lot of people in prison in America that never committed a crime or the crime is so petty they had no business going to jail for it in the first place. Maybe a fine. Yeah, you know, slap them with a fine. But anything beyond that, no, no, it, it, it should not be a crime at all. So this is why. There is such a big mistrust of the cops. It is so many cops out here turning in false police reports. It's not even funny. And the society is um, trained to believe, yes, you train people to believe that the cops in America do no wrong. That's what they do. You know, but but if something happens in their community with a cop, oh my goodness, it's brutality. It's this is everything that black people say. You ever notice that? Let something happen to one of their own at the hands of a cop. Uh, they'll be talking all kinds of shit. They'll be saying the same exact words that black people always say about the police. It's amazing. But ladies and gentlemen. This society glorify cops. They hold them so high up on a pedestal. Anybody that tries to come against them, they got a whole system behind a bad cop. They got the union. You got the police chief that will come out every single time trying to defend a bad cop. And you got the mainstream media that will put the word out about glorifying even a bad cop. So the system is all in cahoots with each other against us. So ladies and gentlemen, this is just one cop out of many that got brought down. But this is nothing unless there's a conviction. If there is no conviction, then this is all for nothing. Okay, so you threw him out for 30 days. Is he getting paid? They sure didn't mention that in the article, did they? There should be no paid leave for what this cop did. None. But ladies and gentlemen, you could best believe if you got in touch with the union, they would be defending this shit. That's the problem with the police union. And this is why they should never exist. If these cops are hired by the local government and state, 
they should be able to fire these bad cops that are on the force without a union getting in the way. But unfortunately, this is another thing that they do in America and it's allowed. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.